Do you know what it is? I think I have a, a picture, yeah. Pull the cover off. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Okay, real quick, when I was 17 years old, I found a car that I really, really wanted, and it was down in Sydney, and I organized with all of my friends to drive me down to Sydney and have a look at this car. Now, my dad cottoned on to that, and he told me I wasn't allowed to go because he didn't trust me driving down to Sydney with the boys. And then my dad went and negotiated with the owner, and he bought the car on my behalf and gave it to me on my birthday. And history is about to repeat itself right now. Now, about six weeks ago, Christian found a car down in Adelaide that was in his budget. He found the car, he rang the guy, he negotiated a price and all the rest of it. Now, I said to him that the car had to be checked out before we went any further. So I organised with our dealer, Drew, at TJM down in Adelaide, to get this vehicle into his workshop. And Drew uh, called me up and said, the car is perfect. I rang Christian and said, Christian, mate, I'm really sorry. It had a crack chassis rally. He goes, I want to see a picture. I jumped onto Google, found a picture of a picture. crack chassis rail of something, I messaged it through to Christian, and he has been gutted. He's been Devo. gutted. He's, he's at, at the end now, like he's really losing hope. He's finding ones that are either way too expensive now or just not worth what they're asking for, just messed up, so. So then I spoke to Ashton, I got the number of the owner through Ashton, I rang the owner, I negotiated uh, to buy the car for the price that Christian agreed with, using his money. You're tracking him on the app. He's yeah, literally going to be here any second him. with his mum and his sister. And the big reveal is happening. My son's getting his first right car. Here. How exciting! He's is just it? around the corner. Here he is. Let's do it. Yo, what's going on? What's up? How's the day, all right? Good. Yeah. Yeah. What? Uh, what's going on? You're fine. What's on? What? No, 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 no. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah, I did. What? <laughs> nothing, nothing, man. What do you mean, what? <laughs> what is this? I don't know, Christian. <laughs> What's that? What is this? It's a car. It's a low It's a low car. <laughs> do you know what it is? I think I have a, a picture, yeah? Pull the cover off. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Do you know which car it is? Is it that one? I'm from um, Sydney. The one from TJ Drew, Adelaide. Oi! You got your first freaking car though. <laughs> what the? You believe that? What? Yes. It's got a demo done. <laughs> and Ashton's known all about it, me is known about it, and they kept a secret. Oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> oh, the car's going to be good. Yes. Is that what you wanted, mate? Exactly. Fire it up, mate. Right? It sounds good. It sounds good. Why in this 15, mate? Well, why, why has this thing just been like your unicorn? Um, obviously, they are the, the highest power car you can have on your piece, which is always fun. They're, they're very good good cars for taking to the track. They are very customizable. Also, being different and being, well, well not the first Nissan, but, but one of the first Nissans that, that Patriot has, has ever had, so. Homeboy, I love ya. Yeah. Congratulations. Well done. <laughs> You're getting a full drive, aren't you? I promise, <laughs> yeah. He's definitely breaking the mold for it, but for a very, very good reason. Stay tuned and uh, wait till you see this thing sliding around a drift track somewhere near you. Let's roll. Okay. <laughs> Let's go to the lap of Patriot.
crazy around the place, you're gonna hide your kicks. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> just dosage. Just, just, just. Summer is awesome. Yeah. We should cut one in the 40, Ash. Hell yeah. Everyone come eating there. Now, if you could try and move your foot a bit further back, that'd be great. <laughs> seatbelt on. I was just trying to teach my son what not to do. Yeah? Yeah. You, I'll definitely let you have that, a crack at that, but not the Z like a four meter drop over the back. Yeah. That's all right. Awesome. We got another property we can go to this weekend and you can do that until your heart's been found. We're just going to have to go find some time. All right, that's a wrap. What's up guys? We are on our way out to Queensland Raceway right now. It is going down a world first in the world of Patriot Games. We're going drifting. Yes. Do you believe this? <laughs> Finally, it's happening now. You can see right here in front of me, I've got one of my really good mates out with me today, Matt Mingay from the Hot Wheels stunt team. And if you don't know who this guy is, Legend. let's chuck in a little bit of the backstory on who Matt Mingay is. You know when a guy has talent and he's capable of doing it. Normal's not in his agenda. Anything he does is spectacular. If the crowd's yelling and screaming, he just wants to go hard. Can't do something, I'll do it. I guarantee I'll do it. Someone says you can't do that. <laughs> Watch me. Watch me do it. So me and Maddie actually met years and years ago, about six, seven years ago, we were racing the side by side championship together um, in our Polaris's. We actually, I think the second event we went to, we got banned from racing yeah, together. That was the fun days. They wouldn't allow us on the track <laughs> together anymore because I think me and Matt were really confused as to whether <laughs> our side by sides were dodging cars or not. We did a lot of crazy stuff back in those days. But you're gonna see Matty today with the big Camaro and a good mate of mine, Kent, from uh, High Talk Performance in his GDSR four-door drift car. The thing is off its head. Now, how are you feeling back there, good, boys? Good, good. excited. Excited? Yeah. It's finally happening. Finally, yes. Today's the day. How do you think it's gonna go down today? I think that it'll go down extremely well. Ash and me are pretty good at picking up skills from experienced people and we've got two of the best drifters in Oz in here so it should be pretty good. Well these guys, you see what these guys do, I mean the Hot Wheels stunt team is, I mean these probably are the two best drifting guys yeah. in the country. Yeah. This is what they do for a living. They go to every one of the V8 supercar events, 800 horsepower cars, door to door, closed circuit tracks, concrete barriers. Yeah. These guys are off the head. I don't think that there's anybody better that you guys could be learning from. Exactly in the country and once again you know massive shout out goes to these guys yeah. taking the time out of their days yeah. away from their businesses the cost of putting the cars on the racetrack yeah. 
How epic is it? I just you think guys... it's so good. Like, I'm so happy to be here that they're actually learning from people that know what they're doing. So yep. instead of just, you know, getting on the road and being silly, you know, you're going to get on the track and they're going to teach the right thing to do. So. Do you guys actually realise how lucky you are? Yeah. <laughs> do you actually really realise how lucky you are? Yeah. You're building the baddest FJ in the country. You've got the two biggest drifters in the country coming out to Queensland Raceway and teaching you guys how to drift. Yes. You guys better be something good in the future, <laughs> eh? Yeah. I'm putting a hell of an investment in here, <laughs> all right? Yeah. They will always work their butts off, these two. Now, unfortunately, little Mimi had to go to school today. It is a Wednesday, so we, we are missing one special little thing, but her time will come really soon. Yeah, she's got drama, big drama class today. She's actually doing her audition today for the school play. Yes. So she couldn't miss it because... Missed with, it last year. And she missed it yeah. last year because of Patriot Games. Now with that voice and those musical <laughs> talents, there's no way we're going to let her miss out. Now you'll notice we're in Sarah's brand new Ram 1500, right? This is the eTalk variant. This is the new DT model and oh my God, the towing difference between this and the DS is completely out of control, hand on heart. Now, honestly, you know that saying, you don't even know it's back there. I can't <laughs> even feel the S15 and the trailer on the back of this. I'm ridiculously impressed with the towing capacity. If you're looking at a tow pig, and I'm actually gonna say, I drove this trailer home last night with your old 200 series, mm -hmm. and you could feel the load straight away. Yeah. This thing, you don't even know. Honestly, you don't even, can't even feel it. You don't even know it's there. So anyway, we're just around the corner from Queensland Raceway. Let's get this done. This is going to go down Ooh, in history. Yeah. Maybe we're going to turn away from trophy truck racing to drifting. Or, or, or just bit of everything. A lot of hope and help. <laughs> this is going to be fun. this that are just so keen to teach these young boys everything that they know here in a controlled environment on the racetrack here at Queensland Raceway and thank you very much Queensland Raceway as well for having us here today this is absolutely epic goosebumps the proud dad moments just keep rolling on as the boys get bigger I just wish my little girl was here to see it but you know what it will be about her when she gets her license as well I can definitely promise you that this is so bad up. Uh, I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message, homie, ain't no flexing on me, my attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on blessings for me, my successes only made them envious, they got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. I want the money, the power, respect, and I heard you know so-and-so, you not a threat, cause I really know so-and-so, they like my family, so they go pretend that they cool till they bust at your motherfucking chest. I'm getting gutted, my flow been like butter, my check in the bank. They see the number, all of my haters feel one of two ways. Nah, really nah. upset that they show me. When you still want grip, yeah, yeah. like everybody kind of thinks you want to go cheese cutters and have no grip, yeah. you still want grip, you need grip. But we'll see how these guys, if you flog these out, yeah. then we'll put the straight tires back on. Yeah, yeah. Joyce has been a teenager, eh? Still being at school. Um, obviously, he doesn't want to wreck his brand new tires. So good, you know, these kids, they've, they've got a lot. They've got more than most kids, but they still got the respect for a dollar, you know. They know what it's all about. And this wasn't my call. I actually said to them last night, it's a Christian, just run on your street tires. No, nah, Dad, I don't want, to, don't want to wreck my brand new tires. So he's got the tires that uh, the car came with. They'll do for the day. And uh, hopefully the car makes it through today. No breakdowns, no spinning it, none of that sort of stuff. Puts the street tires back on, and um, he'll be driving it back on the street tomorrow. Um, pretty cool. See the boys working here now, they're getting their car ready. Um, the race car's getting ready behind them. Um, just epic, epic. Well, today's already been an awesome day and we haven't even got out on the track yet. I cannot wait to see how this all kind of panned out. Uh. I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message on me, ain't no flexing on me, my attorney gon' call and collect. Bless him. Here 
comes to GDSR. Now, this thing here is high torque build. It's built as a four-seater. So these two cars are built to run at every V8 supercar round as um, a demonstration event. These guys literally go door to door on closed circuit, concrete barriers, you know, drifting these things at 150k an hour plus, bore up, so hopefully Kent, me, Sarah, one of the kids in the back, bore up sliding side by side with the Camaro. Christian's pulling his car in now, I'll go and give him a hand, and then we'll give you a quick walk around both of these trucks to see if we can get Kent and Mingo, and we'll show you both of these trucks. You can tell I'm from Patriot Games, right? Both of these race cars, it's the first time that Patriot Games have been on tarmac. Um, super excited, I don't even know where I am. Um, I'll come back to you in a minute. Here he is, the man, Matt Mingay. Now, I gave you a really good plug in my intro. <laughs> we went back to the side, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. The side by side racing days. Oh, wow. Matty from Stunt Sense, dude. Thank you very much for having us mate, here today, no, man. My, my, my little bit, mate. my pleasure. Yeah, and thanks for uh, being here as an instructor today for one of the yeah, kids, yeah. man. That's awesome, mate. I love, love being involved with them. I love getting here wherever I can, so it's good. So, the Camaro behind us, where did it start? Where'd the idea come from? What's it got in it? Let's run through all the mechanical stuff real quick. It came as a bare shell. Um, I, I had the idea I wanted to do an American base, uh, tough car, hot wheels base. Yep. Um, so I built a bare shell, put the Chevy, Chevy NASCAR, yep. uh, Dale Earnhardt engine. Oh, I thought, it? okay, so that's a Chev, that thing. Yep. But Carby, Aspirate. Yeah, it was, Why Carby? It was all NASCAR, all NASCAR this day. All, all they all. have to be Carby, they can't exactly. be injected. Exactly. What does it rev to? Nine. 9,000 RPM. Yeah. It's over 9,000! What 9,000? And I've seen it on the track, it gets there real quick too. Yeah, it does, like, it's, like, got, it's got 850 horsepower. Yeah. And it runs a, it's the only good car in the world, it runs an Albin Strands XL Ram. Yep. That's legal too. Yep. So I was saying before, Albin's is the same gearbox I have in the trophy truck. So in my trophy truck, I've got conventional bell housing type mounted uh, to the back of the engine and the tail shaft. This thing's got a transaxle, so fundamentally the gearbox is the rear diff, right? So I've got this gearbox, the starter motor, the yep. clutch, everything on the rear diff. Yep. So ideally it's a bit of a weight distribution, make it, try and make it 50, 50, 50 weight. Gotcha. You know, every car is about, about 60, 40, 70, 30 weight, to the front and rear. Right, so with so the transaxle you get a bit more weight, weight back yeah. and balance the car a little bit better. Because it might be faster when sliding. Yep. So what makes a drift car compared to, say, a normal track car? Obviously, lock's going to be important with lock's this thing. Lock's very important. Yep. Uh, I always have a lock diff. Yep. Real solid sus sus suspension. Yep. Hydraulic handbrake. I know you guys don't want a hydraulic handbrake, but you'll get there. Yep. Yeah, you know, big balls. And big balls. <laughs> Just massive nuts. I've been talking about a couple of times when I watch you guys doing V8 supercar rounds, like street circuits, concrete barriers, you know, door to door with can. But dude, does it, yes, it's do you ever get scared? No, sometimes it gets a bit, bit hard going. Yeah. Uh, the hard tracks are the, the street tracks, obviously, like Adelaide and Gold Coast 600 yeah. and Townsville, because it's surrounded by concrete, so there's no room for error. Yep. You stuff up, you're eating concrete, simple yep. as that. So here, like at QR, you can go, you can go, 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 go nuts. Go nuts. Yeah. So let's have a quick walk around the car. Yeah. Just show me around it real quick. Let's go from uh, front to back. Yeah, obviously got a NASCAR engine running run a Carby. God bless Carby, I still love the Carbys. Yeah, Carby, how good is that? Is it hard to change? Oh, no way, it's the best thing in the world. I feel bad Carbys, I've no idea why. Yeah. Uh, give them 10 pumps before we start cold. Yeah. Wait you go, mate, good as gold. Good to go. Um, obviously steering geometry in the front, there'd be a lot of yeah. work in there, right? Yep. What sort of lock do you get out of this thing? A lot. A lot. A lot. So I had a, a pace, pace innovation is designed my whole, yep. my whole, as you can see here. Yep. Yeah, I saw that whole cross member down there as it was coming off the trailer. Yeah, that's pretty pretty gnarly, eh? Um, interior wise, nothing interior, in there. Couple nothing, of seats. Nothing there. Gear shifter, hydraulic handbrake, hydraulic and handbrake. a dash, a Motec dash. That yep. is it. That's all that's inside this thing. That's all you need. Oh, uh, Ajax. Yep. With a well, Ajax is plugged in. Yep. Straight up. So, just the rears or just the rears. Just the rears. That's I all you need. Change front very rarely, so yep. in front. Yep. And um, that's my refuel. So. Yep. Quick fuel, chill, and that's it. That's, that's it. That's how you build a badass drift car. So badass, can't wait to see this thing out on track, brother. <laughs> Thanks again, really appreciate it. Any tips for the kids today? 
Well, Anything I need to tell them before we, they go out on track? Well, I'll tell them all because I won't tell you though. Okay. I'll let really you wing it. Right, okay. I'll <laughs> wing it. You can do it! All right, so the baddest Commodore in Australia, in my opinion, for so many different reasons. And the man behind the absolute mayhem that is High Talk, but one of the men behind. One of, one Give of. me a high five. Don't leave me hanging there, brother. Kent, really good mate of mine. Now, we've built a couple of cars together. These guys here, you guys are really well known for high-powered uh, LSs. Like, at the end of the day, that's yep. what High Talk is all about. Obviously, where we're at. they do a lot of other work. So, yeah. let's have a quick run through um, why, 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 why four-door? Four-door, main reason for it was really wanted to try and get bums in seats. Yep. So, you know, drag racing, you're always stuck. It's just you racing. Yep. Uh, all your family, all that are watching it, and yep. you get to actually enjoy it. Throw people in it, so it's three passengers. It's probably the first four-door, four-seater in Australia. Yep. Um, and then you can't go away from Holden. Yeah. It's such a good base. Yep. Weight distribution is great. It is a heavy car. Like we're seventeen. Australian kilos. made to number one. Australian made. Australian seventeen hundred kilos. Seventeen hundred kilos. No passengers. So yeah. We're nearly two ton rolling around there. Is that does that make it harder to steer or easier to steer? Because I know with the trophy like truck, say for example, when I'm full of fuel in the trophy yep. truck, I can really tip the thing in and it'll kind of stay there like a pendulum. You know exactly what I mean? And it kind of comes back. So when it when it's light on fuel, it gets real twitchy and starts grabbing wheels. And is it similar on, exactly on the, the tarmac? Same. Exactly the yeah, same. Yeah. Okay. And like when you compare it to Matt's Camaro, you know he's 800 flywheel horsepower. We've got 800 rear wheel horsepower. Yep. Um, you know, if we were to put so this at 600, we're making a lot more, but it's purely to push these people around in the car. Give us a quick run through. Right. What walk us through it from front uh, front to back. So engine package. Engine package, six litre aluminium block, uh, revving to 8,000 RPM. We've got 15 pound of boost in it. Yep. Harrop 2650 supercharger. Yep. Same charger we had on Sarah's Hemi, huh? Exactly the same. Yep. Uh, Helltech ECU controlling it all, which yep. is another Australian made product. Cosmos wheels. Then we come around into it. Keep it simple. Four bucket seats. Yep. Roll Check cage. Get fast. What dash is that? So that's oh, that's a Helltech. Helltech IC7 dash. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. Harrop locker. Yep. Got the Harrop locker in it. Um, yep. Days are done. A welding a dip up. It's always good when our Gemini's and all that sort yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Harrop locker, HSV brakes. 180Bs. Well, yeah, we've all so been good. there. That was the best fun ever. We've yeah. all been there. Yeah. Yep. Fifteen dollars worth of MIG wire and we sorted. Yep. So I think we'll. Um, these guys are itching to get going. I'm going to stop like waffling on, dude. Thank you very much no for having us here today. Thanks Anytime. for passing Anytime. on your Thank trade you. over to these two guys. Yeah. You are so lucky that I've got mates like this. <laughs> yeah. All right. Get over the S15, boys, and we'll start running it through. Um, so there's a run through uh, both of the biggest, baddest drift cars here in Australia right now. Two really, really good mates of mine. I hope the kids don't kick my ass again today. I'm not, look, it's all about them. I want to have a little drive, but we'll give them all the seat time. Not that I'm making an excuse. I hope I show them up at one thing because they're kicking my ass at absolutely everything these days and I don't know whether I'm really good about it yet. I'm still, I'm not, I've got, still got no greys. You're getting old, Pop. I'm getting old. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm getting better, young brother. You getting old. <laughs> Look at that. Is there much left to be said? No, Justin. Shut the f up. Get in the car and let's go drifting. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Look, they can never keep me down. I'm going. And if I ever fail, just know I'll go again. I never quit because I know that every loss may lead to another win. I'm going up. Are you excited? Are you excited? Yes, very excited. Yeah? Yes. What are you most excited about? Um, just going for rides in all the fast cars. In the fast cars, not your brother's car? No, yeah? Not okay. Something different? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Be safe. Then I have to sell my soul. Oh, yeah. Please don't play no games with me. No it was never about the fame to me. It needed the best, so they came to me. Whoa. Who the best in this thing? Tell them. Yeah, that's me. All right, the plan. 
We don't have a plan, but <laughs> we're going to teach these boys the basics of how to drift. So, yeah. uh, pretty excited. Boys, are you excited for this? Very excited. Very yeah. pumped. Better to go. How are we going to do it? So, yeah. we'll, do, we'll, we'll take you for a few laps first in our cars. Yeah. I, I can't talk. I might go because it's too noisy. So, we'll give you a rundown of what we're going to do. Yeah. We'll do a, few, a few laps to show, showcase what we can do. And then you guys can jump in your car. Now, another one rule is, because we're on a racetrack, if you, run, if you run off the track by some some it's not, not slim. When you run off the track, <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna happen. <laughs> when it happens, yep. Don't keep your foot down. Button off straight away. Don't keep your foot down. Think oh, I'll make it, I'll make it because you spray dirt and dust and crap all over the track, and they hate it. So when you go off the track, easily shut off, foot on clutch, screw it all back on the track, and then go and in then again. Okay. okay. So that's, that's their only rule, they Yeah, like only rule. Yeah. Um, other than that, we're good to go. So yeah, we'll do probably a slow, mediocre type lap. Um, Get used give to you it. an idea of what car control is, consistency, using the weight of the car to slide the vehicle around, um, try and get up on Matt's door. No doubt you're quite aware of throttle control. Yeah. When it's too far out, you button off, don't button off completely, button off slowly, yeah. and when it comes straight up, gas again till it goes back out again. Idea is as much angle as you can, right? But don't, don't over angle it, as always you spin out. Yeah. Okay? But cool. when you're going way, way, way too far, don't button off. Shut off slowly, so it slowly comes, comes back slowly. If you shut off slowly, it'll come back slowly and it'll ruin your slide totally. Yeah, well, cool. it's, hard, it's hard to get your head around, but you'll get your head around eventually. Um, so Camaro, GDSR out yep. first. You guys roll with, you're going to ride in the back of the GDSR. Is that cool? Done. Yeah? Sounds good. Done. I'll go on the side of the track. I'll watch from the side of the track because I want to see from the outside. Yeah? yeah. Who's going to go with who? Who wants to jump in the Camaro? Who's going in the uh, HSV? I think I'll jump in the... this. Double, baby. All right, let's get this done. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. I'm feeling very excited. Get to go out in the craziest drift car in Oz first. Take some good advice from both these guys, and then go out and rip it in my car. Should be good fun. Have fun. Here they come, my whole family in the Hot Wheels, stunt team, just ripping it up at Queensland Race right here. That is just epic. Check it out. Can you believe what you're seeing here right now? This is Patriot Games. That's sick. Here we go again. Here comes Aspen in the Camaro with Bingo. Watch this. Was that badass? Yeah, yeah, I had a blast. How was that? Yeah, so good. Great. <laughs> just looks so freaking cool. So good. You have to wear sunnies in the back though. I was like, ah. You're going to have to concentrate on the filming for the rest of the day, babe. No way. Because I feel like I'm missing out. <laughs> yeah, you need to film. I need to be in the car. Don't yeah, you? no, that's all right. That's all right. So much well, fun. I get to do enough fun stuff that you guys can. I was saying, I felt like 20, not almost 40. Yeah. Was it awesome? Yeah. Yeah. So much fun. Yeah, it's good. Yeah? Yeah, it's loud, it's angry. It's yeah. Just, Rattles, Jada pieces. You two awesome. just look so good out there, Dad. Just uh, so good. Both those cars, they just look nuts. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what's the plan? I don't know. I reckon we show you how to 
slide. Yeah, I reckon you sweet. and Kent go for a slide, eh? Dope. Yeah, get, give Kent a drive yeah. first. Kind of get the car, figure it, it figure does. out what it can and can't do. Yep. And then you can show him. And then we'll swap over and show me how to do it. <laughs> That'd yeah. be cool to watch. All right, let's sweet. do that. Sick. Cool. Jump in. Let's see what my car is actually capable of. I still don't actually know. Alright, so we're in the uh, in the camera car in the D-Max. We're just going to follow Ken around for a lap. Um, see what he can do in the S15. We'll pull up, we'll get some shots. And uh, Ashton's in the back with the camera. Really curious to see what the S15 can do. We got Kent just getting the, the feel of the S15. I think it's going to be a little bit different uh, for him. Obviously not having the horsepower in a car set up, but here he comes up beside you. Let's see what he can do. getting there he's sliding all right we've got the drone over the top there but you can see he's kind of struggling with the power because he's on and off that handbrake eh? yeah. trying to get it to come back out again How cool is that day in the office? He would be grinning from ear to ear. Ready for this? Yeah. All right. We're up. Let's go. So we'll go across. Yeah. And as it slides, do a little bit of counter wheel. Yeah. Handbrake in, handbrake in. Mm -hmm. And then you're right to go. Sweet. Here we go, they're switching drivers. Uh-oh. 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 Christian's getting in the S15. Hey, it, looks, it looks so angry on. Track, it's eh? a good looking car, it right? They always car. were. S15s yeah. were always a good looking rig. Let's see what Christian can do in the S15. This is pretty exciting. I reckon that he's just going to go ham. Like he's been waiting for this moment ever since he bought it. Yeah, no, but he's, he's very calculated, your brother, dude. He's not like you or me. He thinks about stuff. Yeah, with me, I'm like, okay, so how do I break throttle it? and yeah. keep the clutch and hope for the best. Whereas Christian is completely different to this guy and completely different to me. He's more like his mum. He thinks about stuff. He processes stuff. So just first, so I reckon you're going to want to pull the handbrake slightly after that black yep. um, thing. So we're yep. going to head on a 45 degree straight across to that edge. Okay. Be second gear. Mm -hmm. As you go the handbrake, you probably want to keep the power to almost keep your foot on the throttle. Okay. And yep. then as you release that handbrake down, release the clutch, clutch. Yep. and we'll slide and then obviously at that point you're going to want to counter steer yep if you want for the first drift we'll go that way yep. and we can just keep going right round. okay say yeah, you're doing a transition see. of flicking it back the other way you yep. can get a feel for it just constantly yep. drifting the whole way around cool let's give it a go yeah we learn by um by doing and he's more of a theory sort of guy he's a thinker he thinks about stuff a little bit like his mama but here he goes here goes yanni First slide in the S15. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Whoever here is told to do that, I don't know. Okay. That was sick though. I take back everything I just said. I take back absolutely everything I just said. That was friggin' sick. Well, we did. Well, we got the handbrake part right. Yeah. We just ran out of throttle control after that. <laughs> Power! Yes, Christian! 
Alright. He's been out here two minutes, already killed a set of tires. Yeah. He did a tire. <laughs> he did you done one good. Yeah. Uh, you wanna drive back to the pits? Yeah. There he go. He's got it, he's got it. Yeah. yeah. He's already he's starting to understand. Obviously it's a in this car it's quite twitchy. So yep. when you're going off the handbrake, you've got to get on the steering lock really fast. Yep. What have we had five goes and he's already straight onto it. Yep. So. You broke your cherry! Oh, you broke your cherry! Pop his cherry. First blown tire on the racetrack. Proud dad moment number 564 this year. Definitely learned, won't say thing or two, and we've also learned that the S15 is a lot more twitchy than Kent's car, so you definitely have to be be on it a, a bit more. And obviously it doesn't have as much power, but it's just as, as fun. This out, Sarah and Matt Mingay in the Camaro. Oh, they're just coming into pits right now. My wife has been around this forever. She used to do this with me when I was like 18, 19 years old up at the back of Mount Tambourine, but nothing like this. She just, she loves this stuff. Look at that. That was that, Mama 3 in the Camaro, 800 horsepower dream car with Matt Mingay. So badass. Like, is that the baddest chick on YouTube at the moment? Good fun. Good fun. I love it. How was that? That was sick. Is that insane? Yeah, I love it. Hell yeah, It's brother. so far. I honestly, I feel so much safer in these. I feel real like, ah, oh, just young and young and dumb in this. It's so good to watch. Ah, oh, this is good fun. <laughs> I do this all day. So, babe, we're um, thinking about investing into a drift car now. Done. <laughs> we can do it. Yeah, you should teach me. Yeah. You heard it here first. My true drift car is coming. Chuck, who's coming? What drift car should we get for Sarah? For me? Yay! You, well, we need someone to train me. So, Mingo. You reckon you could drive? That, it look, it, I don't know, that's fun. That's fun. That's so pretty. <laughs> I feel like a kid. I sport the whole family. <laughs> All right, so Christian's just changed his tyres. He's back out here with Ken again. Um, giving it another crack. Here he goes. Yeah. There you go, man. Oh, stop it. Oh, yes. He's just linked three. Did you see that? Three. How much track time do you reckon he's had? 15 minutes? 10 minutes? Let me look at this. starting to link corners already. What's this stuff? You think he's having a good time? Oh, he's having so much fun. Remember the wider you go. Wide, 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 yeah. Right at you. That's it, that's it. Can you get the hand raised again? Woo! Good job, mate. Good job. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not as easy as it looks, is no. it? That thing changes direction yeah. really savage, eh? It does. Yeah, it does. Like really, what do you reckon that is? Uh, it definitely needs a lock kit, so he's constantly getting to lock and it's run out. So yeah. It needs, it needs more lock. It needs more front, lock. Because he's every time he goes, he's like, oh, I'm out of lock. Right. And that's what it spins out. Gotcha. Yeah. And you just got no more. Yeah. Because yeah, it changes direction the, so fast. Yeah, the Kaz has got it flicking real well. Yeah. But then he's got, he runs out of steering. Guess what you're doing next week? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> you'll get it, mate. You'll get it. Just oh, keep it, keep it going, man. Yeah. Keep it going. You'll eventually, you will get it. Do you want your bro to jump in the passenger seat? Okay. I'll give him the helmet. Doing good. He's picking it up real fast. Um, car's got a heap of front end grip, but then real twitchy on the transition. So I think like a lock kit would make a big difference for him. Yeah, but but far out, he's tenfold on where he started in, in awesome. 20 minutes, 30 minutes. He's, yeah, he's all over it. He's yeah. all over it. He's got it. He's got the gift. Yeah. Just the car's not given at the moment. So you'll get it. You'll string it together. Yeah. So I think you jump in with him now. Yeah. You guys go and have a slide together because I think from here, Christian, it's just about feeling it now. Just keep it's, going, dude. It's honestly seat time. Yeah, seat just time. seat time, like everything, mate. Yeah. yeah. You'll get it, man. You'll get, get it. it. Sure. Don't be disappointed. Uh, come on. Man. Uh, let's, go. let's go. How actually. long have you been? How long have you been drifting for? Um, thirty minutes. You've been drifting for thirty minutes. You're good, dude. Yeah. Brother, uh, side before something goes wrong. Yeah, sure. Is that all right? Yeah. Give him a go just before something goes wrong, and then you can jump back in a bit. But that was it. You just got it. Yeah. Yeah. That was sick. Now this is going to be really interesting. Me and Kent were just having a chat about it. Now I'm not sure whether he's driving style. Go on, go. I don't want to be hearing this. It's going to be really interesting to see Ashton's driving style because he is so aggressive. This might really suit his style of driving. Or. He's just going to continuously loop the thing out until he gets really, really frustrated and don't want to do it anymore. One of the two things are going to happen now. Let's see how it goes down. Just flick in, brake, and then just back. Not bad. With first one, she's perfect. the aggression I was talking about. Instantly off the bat, that is exactly what I would do. Exactly what I would do. So this will be interesting. Just needs to calm the nerves down and then we'll see how we go. So initiate now. Um, whoa, did you say that? Maybe the aggression is gonna work. Is it, what do you think? Is it harder or easier than you thought? Um, it's just like kind of driving like how you kind of like want to drive. Like I yeah. I use less handbrake and more We noticed. throttle can And your, your line's completely different. You're not as high powered. Yeah. And you're not as savage with that entry on the handbrake as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're actually driving it like with tons of throttle and you don't seem to be driving with as much throttle. We'll just talk about that. Yeah. Just different styles, yeah. you know? Yeah. But it's about working out, you know, what that balance is and getting that balance point, I suppose. Yeah. You know, there's a lot in today. Mm. So when you watch what Kent and Maddie do now, you respect it a fair bit more, don't you? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Pretty badass. I think it's gonna take a lot more days at the track to be able to get everything kind of linked up. But again, like I said, you know, it's, it's their first go and it's just, they're doing amazing. Like, they're doing absolutely unreal. GDSR's lining up now. We're gonna see how this is actually done 
um, in a real drift car, a proper drift car. Um, so Ken will show you the line as it comes through and you watch the speed that he takes his stuff at. Yep, he's gonna send it right now, so let's let's go. Let's go. Here we go. wet myself. How was that? <laughs> Coming in hot. Hey guys. <laughs> All right, so I'm up. So the two kids are about to go. I can't say no, right? But Ken's gonna jump in with me. He's gonna give me a few tips. I think it's been 20... Three years. Two years since I've done this. 22 years. How do you reckon I'll go? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Mm, I don't know. We'll, we'll see if we got it. Ken, you trust me? Always. All right. Let's do it. Can we put the aircon on? It'll cost you 50 horsepower. I'm hot. I don't like sweating. All right, here we go. Justin the slidey boy. Let's see if I can't make, not make a complete idiot of myself. So handbrake. Handbrake. With clutch. With clutch, always. <laughs> Ah, yeah, humble yourself, yeah. Justin. How do you feel now? <laughs> yeah, it's not that easy, isn't it, huh? Okay, he's a bit better than us. Look at that go. We have to do that. Still got it. Still got it. Looks, eh? Yeah. Heaps, heaps harder Especially than the Especially in this, because it's so just zippy back and forth. Yeah, it's like really, it is really, really <laughs> twitchy. But guys, I'm telling you now, there's no reason you can't slide this thing like that with the seat time. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You just kind of got to get used to it, you know? Exactly. If you spend a couple of hours out here doing this, you'd be linking all of these three together like these guys, dude. Yeah. I'm kind of sick, bro. Yeah. You yeah, pumped? Yeah. Yeah? Gonna... yeah. You want to go for a lap in the GDSR? Sugar. Yeah? Okay? All right. Let's get in the real car. So, uh, we're back here in the pit. We've only got a limited amount of time here on the track today. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna go for a family slide. I'm gonna explain to you what a family slide is. Two cars with the whole family in it sliding. That's a family slide. <laughs> Hell yeah. So come here real quick. Here's how we're gonna roll. We've got Christian in the front of the GDSR. We've got Sari in the back, we've got Ashton in the back, we've got Kent driving, me and Maddie. We're gonna go get loose in the oh, yeah. I'm looking forward, I've been looking forward to this for a long time. <laughs> this is probably about gonna wrap up our day. You're gonna see some door on door action now. You're gonna really see what the drifting is all about. Let's get in these. Let's hit the track.
so quick it can destroy your entire face. <laughs> like the, that legitimately, I'm not playing it up for that thing. That ain't f***ing right. There is something wrong with you, dude. Oh my god. I'm not joking. There's something wrong with you too, eh? You two aren't all there in the head. Oh, it's not just our missus say that. I, I ain't joking. Sarah's comment was, I could do that all day. <laughs> How was that? I'm like legitimately, like my mind blown how you can do that, eh? I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. I've raced for a long time in, in different forms of motorsport. My heart is like pumping. I'm just, I've never done anything like that. You watch that on TV and yeah, it looks cool. But when you're doing that sort of speed, completely out of control, crossed up, smoke pissing off the back, and your mate's like that far beside you in his car. Yeah. That's what I was saying. It's pretty, pretty cool how you can be that close to someone when you're doing that. That is, that's just, is that not the best day ever? I want to calm down for a little bit now. I'm shaking. That was, that was just, that was ridiculous. Lucky yeah, boys. I get it. I get it. I've got a rebel soul. All right, so that's a wrap on Patriot Games' first ever tarmac event <laughs> at Drift Day. How, how did they go? Oh, man, we had an absolute fantastic. ball. Your boys killed it, killed it. Yeah, it was so Yay. good. Crushed. You gotta remember, they've only done one hour seat time, yeah. and already they're linking corners. You know, S15, which is a street registered vehicle. Yeah. yeah. Far out. We got purpose-built drift cars. When well, I saw them linking the corners, I he's driving that. <laughs> oh my god, really that way? So yeah. pretty, pretty good. No. Badass. You happy? Yeah. Yeah? yeah good day. Do you reckon we might have started something here today? Yeah, potentially. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. yeah. we, we actually need another hobby, our family. We yeah. don't have enough. <laughs> we don't have enough. <laughs> one one weekend spare in the year. Yeah, we, we definitely need another hobby. But look, drifting might become a thing, we'll say. It's up to you guys now, but you've definitely learned from the best. Yeah. And boys and team. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Like Thanks getting the, the boys out here, getting taught by the best in the country, arguably the best in the country. I haven't seen anybody else go door to door like that before in my life. <laughs> right. So that's that's my opinion. Um, guys, thanks a million. I really, really appreciate it. Boys, what do you say? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. No, we're all right, thank boys. No, we're all right. Thank you. Well done, guys. Thanks. Great day. <laughs> All right, join us on the next episode of Patriot Games. More mud, more four wheel drives, 35 inch tyres, doing what we do best. My drifting days are officially well, out. Yeah. <laughs> well, my car's probably in odd, so. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah but it's a Nissan too. So it's bad. <laughs> oh, and the first time we've ever had a Nissan on Patriot Games. Two of them. Yeah. All right, we out. See you guys. Thing that you never thought you'd see. I'm in a patrol and you're in a Nissan. What's it? We're in the twilight zone. This thing friggin' ripped. Um, that thing is friggin' badass. Now, the GoPro just went flat when I was driving it. I don't know how fast we were going down there. That thing friggin' hauls ass. That's the first time I've ever driven a patrol, too. Never driven one before. And I didn't like it. Actually, I hated it. That thing, that sucked. Yo! Hello. Slidey boy! Yes. Slidey boy! What are you doing? You're building stuff. Yes. Christian's got a down day today. He's meant to be studying, but he actually studied yesterday. And I finished all my tests now, so I'm done. Something's just come in. Yes. Someone wants to show you something. Do you want to come and have a quick look? So he's earning some money to pay for his tyres in his drift car. Come on, come with me. I want to. What a good kid. See that? I've got to finish that. How's he going, Eric? Yeah, good. Good? Good. Happy? Yeah, I'm happy with it. Can I steal him just for a minute? For a minute, yes, but otherwise I need to go for it. Three minutes. Okay, no Come on, let's go. I'm back. 
Alright, we are in the main showroom here at Patriot HQ. Yes. Oh, real quick, mm. see that there? Keep an eye out for that. Coming back in the future episode of Patriot Games. Alright, come through here. Your mum wants to show you something. We got you something. So you weren't missing out? Okay. Check yeah. this out, ready? Yeah. Slutty hey, boy! Look at that. What do you think? So we got the F and J and then we got the little... Look at you boys with your What do you reckon? Look at the Sylvia. It's you like it? Yeah. Now, I'm gonna throw it out there. Christian's actually designed the graphics with one of the graphic designers here. Yeah. He hasn't seen the T-shirt yeah. yet. Do we give everyone the background on what Slutty Boy means? <laughs> yes. How do we explain it? Just one day you just started just calling me that. Yeah, when you got your rest of your thing. Like stuck. And, and it goes, but kind you got to close. say it properly. It's not like slotty boy. It's like slotty boy. <laughs> but, and that's how you got to throw yeah. it out there. So I don't know where it comes. It's kind of like Yanni. Like yeah, we don't yeah. really know where that came yeah. from. Mm. Yeah. Don't know where slotty boy came from, but that's been his nickname ever since he built slotty his boy. S15. That looks better. If you want to get your, your slotty boy drift coat or any other Patriot Games merchandise, go to patriotsupply.com.au and like and subscribe for any more S15 content. Yo, what's happening, homeboy? What's happening, G? What's happening, G? We're just driving out of Patriot HQ. Now, it's been three weeks since you learned to drift. Yes. With the Hot Wheels stunt team that day. Yep. What's been happening since then? Um, I, I've gone to a Friday night drifts at QR with a new tyre and setup and a new turbo setup. Uh -huh. So I had to relearn that and I ended up doing a little bit worse my second time drifting than I did my first time but at the very end I took one of my own mates out who has been been drifting for like a year or so and he, and he taught me a little bit more so my last two or so laps were actually really really good so today is redemption for session one and session two so redemption yes. coming your way um real quick so power cruise is on next weekend whole team at High Talk are getting ready with all their customer cars. Uh, they've got a track day on today. He's got a down day from school today. We're going to go up to QR. Let's see how much he's improved since three weeks ago when you actually saw him learning how to drift. Yo. Yeah, the boys. Yeah, yeah slidey boy. Yeah, the boys. Yes! <laughs> that was done! That's it! That was awesome! 